I guess we just got a new Star Trek Picard trailer. This is probably the last one. Uh, season 3. Maybe it's the last one. Airing in a few weeks, I guess. So there's probably not going to be much after this. I haven't really been keeping up with Picard Season 3. Mostly because I don't really care. But for those of you who do, we're going to be checking out the new, perhaps final, Season 3 trailer. Is this the final season? I don't know. This was billed as being the final season right from the get-go. But I've been hearing murmurings through leaks and press releases that the Picard universe could continue. Uh, you know, maybe we're going to get the Captain Worf show we always wanted. Maybe we're going to get a show that just continues with the Titan, Star Trek Titan. I have no clue. However, the Star Trek Picard Season 3 trailer aired alongside some kind of football game, I guess. I don't know. They really know their audience. Let's check it out. By the way, I'm going to have to censor basically everything. I don't know why they hate free advertising. But I, I basically, every time there's been a trailer, I haven't been able to show one frame or any sound. So when I hit play, this is Star Trek Picard Season 3 official trailer, Paramount Plus. That's the video. It's on YouTube. When I hit play, you can hit play also. And I'm going to go all the way through the first playthrough of this video without pausing. So you can kind of follow along. That's the only way I can do it, because I can't show you anything. Okay? So, without further ado, let's hit play. Right now. Who's this guy? <laughs> we won't be blowing things up. You might find it boring. What, blowing shit up? That wasn't the days. Oh my... <laughs> serious there's a darkness an all-consuming darkness trust no one guys there's secrets everywhere trust no one lies upon lies upon lies don't trust anybody there's the titan looking good That's cool. I like this. Oh, there's Crusher with a phaser rifle. That's what I wanted. Worf was irrational and violent? No. They weren't the person I knew. On the Enterprise? Wasn't really life or death all the time in the Enterprise. Why? Why? They're just people in Starfleet, technically. No, they're not enjoying this. They wouldn't enjoy this. What they're doing is dangerous. It's insane. Well, there's my first reaction to that trailer. I'm sorry if I talked over it a bit, and if you were watching along with me. Well, it's, this is just more Discovery Season 2 
uh, Picard season one stuff like there is an all-consuming darkness something bad's happening the fate of the universe is at stake again it seems like every five seconds the fate of the universe is at stake why it makes the universe feel small that's just my opinion as coming from someone who's not a big fan of Picard in general not the character not, I mean not not a fan of the show I don't understand how like maybe this this should be discovery and Picard should be like TNG or something like I, I just don't understand why we got to go so over the top this this has started before we had nemesis we had the TNG movies where in my opinion they were not as good as the TOS movies so this is not this is not new action Picard is not new but I don't I don't know it just it feels like everything has to be grander than it is and I don't know why why is there an all-consuming darkness what what is this they said the exact same thing about uh, the burn uh, the red angel uh, uh, since it, it, the, there's some kind of strange space squid in Picard season one, it's just it's the same. It's just a rolodex of universe-ending things that I'm just getting, I'm just getting tired of. You know, like it would have been refreshing for me <laughs> if Vedic, I think that's how you pronounce the name, our villain this season, was just out for revenge and that was it, and there was nothing special. You know, like I, I'm ready for. I'm ready for nothing special at this point in time. I'm tired of the end of the universe. Uh, it's just stretching, you know, it's stretching my ability to believe it, you know. Your uh, suspension of disbelief. How many times can we just save the universe? An age-old problem with any franchise, right? But Star Trek, the way it used to be anyway, was that you would leave the old characters behind and you would meet the new characters. So you left the old characters behind the moment they felt like they were getting out of hand. They felt like they were becoming a superhero. You can only save the universe so many times before you're just special. Right? So you refresh the characters and now we're just... We can't come up with new stuff. So we're bringing the old characters back to save the day again and again. And it's just, I don't know, it's... You know, you're, you're retroactively saying that the characters of TNG are uniquely special just by who they are, not by the day-to-day -day excellence. You know, excellence is a series of small actions taken every day, right? Like, I guess I just missed the slice of life. You know, the little things. It's easy to win the big victory and get the big payout, but it's hard to live on the Enterprise every day and delay the huge gratitude for the small victories every moment, you know? That that was good. This is crazy. Like, I don't know. And that's and I'm not a huge fan of TNG movies. I mean first contact, it's got a lot of good stuff. But Star Trek Picard, I mean, season three, like, we're bringing back all the TNG characters to just go into another insane firefight. I don't understand. So I'm just going to poke around here. It's basically impossible for you to follow along now, but I'm just going to poke around. And I think Vedic, the actress that plays Vedic, uh, is she related to um, Christopher Plummer? I think her last name was Plummer. Is there a relationship between her and Plummer, who played the villain in, I believe, Undiscovered Country? I like that movie. Will I like this movie? Oops, I called it a movie. It's a TV show, right? TV show. We're just making movies here, guys, and splitting it, and arbitrarily splitting it into ten different episodes. That's what this. That's what this is. Right now, we're looking at the bridge. Why? I can't see anything. Like. I'm going to trip over something on this bridge. Why? 
Why is it so dark? Still. It's so dark. I don't understand. It's ominous. Like, ooh. Like, you know? It's, it's just not a good look. Who's this guy? How many pips does he have? I can I can see three. Is he the captain of the Titan? Maybe I maybe I just can't see it right. But is he is he the captain of the Titan? And uh, like, is Seven? I what did I? Why did I think Seven was going to be the captain of the Titan? Am I was I imagining that? Did someone say that? Explicitly, or was I just assuming that? I don't know. And again, we're having a discussion. It's going to be a little boring. Not, no, you know, not many firefights, not many explosions. And Picard is disappointed. He likes the explosions, you know. Picard likes it when people die. What can I say? Uh, ships crashing into ships. Love it. Oh. Is the Enterprise F doing its bit? Looking blurry. Looking bad. I mean, guys, like, why is it, why is it so blurry? Like, it's kind of, you know, kind of looks like you're hiding bad geometry or something. And I know you're not because this ship looks good. Okay. Starfleet could be the target. I don't know. Oh, Rappy. Oh, dude. See the underbelly? I can just, as soon as I see Rappy, I think... CD underbelly, espionage, secret stuff. Love that. Okay. Different looking weird Beverly saying don't trust anybody. I don't know about that. What is it with, um, guys, what is it with, like, new Trek and, um, secrets? And lying. Like, what is it with new Trek and, like, espionage and stuff like I don't know I don't know what's going on like how come how come it's like that and this thing just looks like the scimitar from Nemesis or something it's a classic new Trek it's a classic new Trek design right uh just have a bunch of crap everywhere that'll do it a ship that's just a mess of polygons cool Oh, uh, we're in the nebula, and we're got this cool Constitution class saucer here <laughs> on our USS Titan in like 2400 and something, and we're running away from this bad-looking ship. Cool. Ah, uh, very original, cool-looking aliens. Oh, it's so dark. I love it. I do like that a lot of our new ships we're seeing, though, are using kit bashing. I see the same type of nacelle design between ships. That's good. We're creating a language. Not every single ship is different. That's actually a good thing. That makes sense, right? Uh, some of my favorite ships are kit bashes, and kit bashes make logical sense, so it's good to see it here. Like, that ship we just saw looked like it had the nacelles right off the... Um, Excelsior 2, or whatever they call it, you know, the, the new Excelsior. Uh, why does it feel like we have two different uniforms on display? Like, Geordi and Worf's uniforms, like, look different than uh, what we've seen on the Titan. Like, what what's that about? 
Like, Rikers looks different. The final voyage begins. One can only hope. Um, oh, Action Beverly. Awesome. Santa Claus Wharf. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's That's just a personal hang-up. That's not... I don't really mean that. Like, whenever I see white hair, red clothes, I just go, Santa! So I think uh, Wharf is just playing Santa this season. <laughs> uh, it is great seeing Wharf back. I think... Is he not the character with the most screen time in Star Trek? I... I recall the highest amount of screen time being either Miles O'Brien or Worf. And now that Worf is back for these 10 episodes, it makes me wonder. I'm just assuming that this is 10 episodes, by the way. I'm just getting so used to these 10 episode seasons, I just assumed it. I don't know how many episodes are in this season. Another character, another angry character is just... Like this guy, I know why he's here, right? This guy they cast, they just cast him... To scream at Picard. That's the whole reason. I guarantee you. He's just there to yell at our characters. About how terrible they are. That's what his whole job is. I mean prove me wrong. I mean I'm talking to the show here. I want to be wrong. Like I don't. I would love it if I was wrong. Like Vedic. I'm a little bit curious. About what's going on with this character. A little bit. It's one of the things that's kind of interesting about season three so far, from what I've seen. Um, if we had have seen these kinds of ships, if we had have seen the ships here in Picard season one, it, it would have won over a lot of people. You know, like season one was bereft of ships, and then at the very end, we get the copy and pasted inquiry class, which sucked. lore. I mean, I would say it's good to see Brent Spiner back, but he's not back. He was never gone. He has, he just won't go away, so he's, in order to be back, first you have to be gone. I'm sorry, Brent. Oh, the gang's all here. Wonderful. What's special about these characters? Washed up characters who served on the Enterprise for a time. That's who they are. That's who they are to Starfleet. Yes, they're special to us. But, um... You know, you gotta treat them like people, too. You know, like... You know, like... To bring George Decay back as Sulu in uh, the TOS movies, we, had, we made him captain of the Excelsior and then just made it so that they could be in the same movie together, but on different ships. Like, you know, it's... You gotta treat them, you know, like they're real, you know? And when they're just starting to feel fakey-fake, you drop them. And you go on to a new show, like switching from TNG to Deep Space Nine. It's, it's an important growing experience. But you bring the old back. And it's never quite what you imagined, is it? Bringing the old back, you know? Respect them, honor them, treat them well, but, um, you know, you, 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 you put them out to a very nice pasture, right? Um, I'm sorry to seem so down on this, but, uh, I'm totally ready to be wrong. Uh, this seems like more of the same. I mean, this is what I expected. It's dark, it's gritty, it doesn't seem to understand its audience, it's sad, it's, it doesn't look like we're discovering anything, uh, it doesn't look like we're exploring, it looks like we're just fighting. Not new for Star Trek as a whole, but is that what we wanted by bringing Picard back in TV form? Methinks not. Uh, I've seen bad trailers before, but things end up being okay. That first Star Trek Beyond trailer looked horrible. The movie came out, and it was just okay, but it wasn't horrible like that first trailer. So maybe, maybe this is good. 
people have seen, I guess insiders have seen the first few episodes and they all loved it. But guess what? Insiders who get first access to things, they're going to love everything. You just need to be aware of that. Like, just tear that bandaid off right now. Insiders. Uh, they never watched a show they didn't like. <laughs> so uh, I'll leave it at that. That's my uh, initial impression of what I assume is the final Picard Season 3 trailer. We're going to be reviewing this show when it comes out. And hopefully it won't be painful for me. Hopefully it'll be fun for you. Uh, and that's that. Uh, what did you think of the trailer? I didn't really love it. Um, so far with New Trek, Picard's been my least favorite show. Um, and that's saying something. You brought back the TNG cast and you made me not like it. That's kind of damning. Like, if you really think about that. That's kind of sad. But I know lots of people like it. And that's good. Um, but I'm more of a prodigy, lower decks type of guy. Maybe Strange New Worlds. Um, so yeah. Tell me what you thought. Tell me if you think this is indicative of what the final product is going to be like. Tell me if you think this uh, this whole trailer was just uh, made by the editors to look cool and has nothing to do with the show. Um, here's looking forward to Picard Season 3. And I'll see you when next time I see you. I'm Lieutenant Merrick, and I'm going to be gone for a little while. Which means basically in a, for a few days when the next video comes out. So I'll see you guys next time.